you approach the defendant at the construction site, did he acquiesce? No, he ran away from his own house and me and Detective Cindy had to apprehend him. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, as you have heard, the defendant was witnessed fleeing the scene of the crime with the industrial fan, after which he blatantly <laughs> resisted arrest. Nothing further. Cross-examine. I'll show you physical life. Order, order. Objection, Your Honor. The client's physical condition is not on trial. Your Honor, I put forth that the injuries of the witness may be connected to the apprehension of, of my client, re-entering re -entering his unfit for testimony. Proceed. I'm not going to answer these questions. All right, you want to know? Fine, I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. Don't blame me if you're plagued with nightmares for the rest of your life. <coughs> it was a Thursday afternoon and I was on my lunch break. I was sitting there minding my own business, but I wasn't just sitting anywhere. No, I wasn't. I was, I was sitting on a wall. That's right, a wall. It seems stable enough, sure, but out of the blue, Without warning, it, it gave way and I, I fell. It's not easy to describe the kind of fall it was, but if I had to say a word, it'd be great. It was a great fall. <laughs> I regained consciousness over in King's Gurney, where they rushed me to the hospital. They got, they got normal doctors and horse doctors. In the room, the chief resident put his hoof in my hand and told me everything was going to be all right. But he was all wrong. No matter how hard they tried, no matter how many times they tried, I was broken. They could not put me back together again. Kids, if you're watching, just know, respect. But about my physical liabilities, I'll be fine. I'll be all right. But I won't be okay up here and over here and along here. Next time you see a wall, especially you kids, respect that wall. And don't sit on it. <laughs> sit on a chair. Uh, or maybe actually a futon. Happy now, I quit. Oh, I will have order. Let's move us along, counsel. There is much more in town cars. Prosecution, present your next witness. We call pigs one through three. Today's events, but does such a description convey the emotional, pure turmoil that you three had to endure? No, it was horrible. <coughs> Your Honor, I can't even look in the eyes of the defendant without feeling unclean. Objection! Pigs rue in their own filth! Sustained. Pigs use comic book issue for the record. Wait, I was supposed to write this down. <laughs> I'll rephrase. Are you afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. Bad wolf. Objection! Are you afraid of Bernard Bartholomew Wolf? Tra la 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 la. You have to excuse my sister. She is speaking our Archaic version of Big Latin. Tra la 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 la. Roughly translates into English as yes. And would you describe that fear? It was terrifying. I was just shaving like any other day. Then this ferocious beast walked right up to my own front door. Can any of you imagine looking at the people of your own? Walked up right up to my front door. I invested in Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Objection! Your own line of questioning 
Indeed I did, Your Honor. Indeed I did. This is highly unorthodox. Your Honor, we live in a highly unorthodox time. Just yesterday I saw a man walking his cat. I'll allow it. What are you doing? My job. Pigs number one and two. In your testimony just now, you revealed to this court that the that wolf attacked your homes from the front. Yes, ma'am. But the evidence reveals that the point of attack happened from the rear of each house. It is my superstition that you three pigs stage the destruction of your homes, walking away free pigs with insurance money you so desperately desire. All and right, we did it. it. We were broke. We needed the money. I haven't been on Pika forever. And if only I had to listen to that man on Fear Factor, I wouldn't be broke. I just like money. Take them away. <laughs> I'll be catching you later. <laughs>